what do stock trading and making Chinese crepes have in common? Enter Brian Goldberg. Brian is an intense guy. He studied Chinese in college, qualified to race the luge in the Olympics, was a TV sports reporter, transitioned to equity trading in Hong Kong and Taiwan, and now he runs his own business. You get the idea. I was working for Sokgen, in a French investment bank. I was a sales trader, very high speed, shorter term stuff. Okay. And now, now okay. flip. I'm so scared of this. Just right, do it. You got it, you got it. Just flip it. Brian now spends his days introducing Americans to Chinese crepes or Jen Bing. So wait, what exactly is the Jen Bing? Cue the happy music and speed up the video. A Jen Bing is a traditional savory Chinese crepe folded up into a sandwich. This is really neat. This is like something I created. I think it, it allows me to do a lot of things that I enjoy doing. With people to people, dealing with staff, creating jobs, creating a brand, dealing with food. It's very different from trading stocks. This is short term, but also very long term, trying to build the fundamentals of the business. Brian opened his flagship Mr. Bing in Hong Kong while still working full time in finance. At first, business was strong, so he quit his day job and expanded the operation. But that move proved to be a rookie mistake. He had to shutter the Hong Kong business and retreat to finance for a year to recharge his pride and his bank account. But then Brian decided to try it again, this time in his hometown of New York with an entirely new target set of taste buds. And what's the best part of running this business? It's just a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun uh, teaching Americans about this new food that they've never had before while also giving Chinese people in New York a taste of home that they haven't had in a long time. Brian is fluent in Chinese and spent 14 years living in Asia. So for him, it's more than running a business. It's about bridging the gap between his life in China and America. Nobody's ever standardized a large scale genbing operation before. It's never been done. So we're trying to work with people that have experience from places like Starbucks or McDonald's or La Pan Quotidian or Panda Express. How do they, how do you scale? and manage quality control and create systems and manage throughput, how many customers per hour in high, high foot traffic locations. But even as Brian looks to expand the business, he says he's not worried about what's ahead. Honestly, I'm, I'm sleeping really well, you know, and the business is going well. Uh, but, you know, every day has its challenges and frustrations, but they don't keep me up at night. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.